But you know what is a great travesty of justice? Angel Bumpus. And so oh. this young lady, mm, yes, Angel Bumpus. Um, this young lady is a currently, I believe, a 25 year old young lady who has been in jail since 2019. Mm -hmm. All right, so the story of Angel Bumpus. All right, so when Angel Bumpus was 13 years old, there was a murder that was committed. Um, nine, um, in which her grandmother was investigated and looked upon as a prime suspect at the time because she was the last person, her grandmother was the last person to speak to the victim. Um, nine years later, um, Angel Bumpus, who was 13 at the time that the murder was committed, um, was arrested for failure to appear in court for a traffic ticket. Upon being arrested, they ran her fingerprints and uh, she was fingerprinted and um, arrested and then let go. And when they um, processed her fingerprints, they discovered that the fingerprints matched a partial, the, match. A partial match of some duct tape that was found on the crime scene of this murder that happened 10 years ago when she was 13 years old. Um, she was subsequently arrested and charged for felony murder um, during for that um, murder. Um, the prosecution had no other evidence the prosecution also tried someone else at the exact same time as her. The person, the person that they also tried with her was 13 years older than her. And he was charged because somebody in jail who was serving time for an armed robbery snitched and, and said, claimed that the dude that was on trial claimed that he was going to commit that robbery. And then the next day he said that the, um, he found on the news that that person had died. Now, the person who, who she was on trial would, was found not guilty. They had zero evidence that he was there. The only evidence that they had of her at the crime scene was the partial prints on the duct tape. Now, mind you, they also had nine other people's fingerprints on the duct tape. Those nine people have not been identified. They had uh, her fingerprints nowhere else on the crime scene. Not a safe, not a real, not a door, not a real, not not a hey, chair. Hey, real nothing. quick, real, 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 real quick, mm -hmm. can you tell them what her grandfather did for a living? Her grandfather was a hand local handyman who helped out and um like um was a handyman in the neighborhood who had and, recently done some work for whom. Um, for the victim of that crime. Okay. And also, Angel, at uh, who lived with the grandparents at the time, um, would frequent uh, her grandfather's garage and do arts and crafts. And play with his? Duct tape. I feel like I got to say pause there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that duct tape was found, and with no other evidence besides her her fingerprints amongst nine other fingerprints on partial. that duct tape, her partial fingerprint amongst nine other fingerprints on that duct tape. She was convicted of that murder and sentenced to 60 fucking years in jail. The crime had a maximum charge of 60 years and she received all 60. All 60. Hey, uh, all 60. Can you tell us anything about um about 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 Miss I don't want to say her name wrong Bumpus Bumpus Miss Bumpus's life as it was when she was a twenty six year old What was she doing uh, at that time Oh, uh, she was living in a whole nother state, raising her kids, minding her goddamn business. In a mother. Fact, a mother? Yeah, she was a mother. She was a, a mother, mother of two of two little girls. Now, 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 mind you, this is how far away that this little girl is from crime. It took her, tw it, she was only fingerprinted because she was arrested for failure to appear in court for a traffic ticket. Traffic ticket. Who among us does not have a traffic ticket? No. That we may my, forget about one ticket? 
They don't even boot your car mm -hmm. for one ticket. Mm -hmm. Now this little this, this this poor girl. Um, she was sent. She was living with her grandparents because her mother had went to jail when she was six years old. Her mother is still in jail. Her mother is, I believe, serving life because she murdered a deputy. She shot a deputy and um, attempted to escape being um, in custody. She took the gun from a deputy, shot him, and then pointed a gun at somebody else and c tried to carjack um, someone and got a to get away. Now, was this her, in, was this in the, the in the same town in which this investigation and subsequent charges happened? Mm -hmm. okay. It was in the exact same town. Also, her brothers who are currently in jail were recorded um, on um, because they called each other um, when they found out that she was arrested. Now, the conversation that they had was, um, hey, so Angel got jammed up on some robbery and murder. Um, they said that it happened nine years ago when she was 13. Think hard. And that was it. Now, also, their, gra their grandmother, whom Miss um, Angel Bumpus said that she had no close relationship with she was she said she was unloved that's why she left um chattanooga uh when she was 16 because she, that's uh, she was living there with those grandparents and her grandmother just showed her no affection no love um her grandmother um was the last person to, to speak to the victim her grandmother frequently purchased weed from her from from the victim um I who exactly was the victim real quick because uh, the victim was a 16 yeah yeah the victim was a 61 year old man um a 61 year old weed selling man in chattanooga now as they would as he was described in what i had read he was a 60 i, I thought he was 68 but 68 61 either way but i thought i heard he was I th already was a retiree from like mm -hmm. a factory job or some shit yeah he definitely like, had old man strength okay all right, so, but, but somehow 68, 61, mm -hmm. retired. Mm -hmm. Again, from my recollection, I'm not, I don't, factory worker. Mm -hmm. That this 13 year old supposedly um, went to his house. All right, all right, all right. So, now the 13 year old. This this, this 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 little girl went to school that day got off of the school bus and according to the prosecution walked two and a half miles to this old man's house duct taped him robbed him and left in 15 minutes and walked back home two and a half miles now he was he was taped in a very particular way. He oh, was he bound about bound about by the legs and arms to a chair and his mouth duct tape. And by this thirteen mouth, year old. And the reason he the reason he, he passed was because of the duct tape was over his mouth and nose and he was unable to breathe and he suffocated. Okay. All right. Now this little thirteen year old girl at the time is supposed you you you're telling me that she is able to subdue this sixty eight year old man, not only subdue him, but leave no fingerprints whatsoever anywhere else in the fucking house except for on this duct tape. So you're telling me that this little thirteen year old girl, this criminal mastermind, had the wherewithal to wear gloves, break into this man's house, tie him up, bound and gag him, and then take her gloves off to rip off a piece of duct tape and tape his mouth shut. Well, the prosecutor will counter that by saying, So you want me to assume or expect or to think that this girl unraveled several feet or yards, I believe he said, of duct tape, mm -hmm. and then rolled it back up. Mm -hmm. He said that that was preposterous. But a 13-year-old getting the jump on a 60-year-old retiree, 
Mm-hmm. And duct taping him around the, the feet in the hand area is completely plausible. Plausible. Yeah. Um, I've used also- duct tape. I've used duct mm-hmm. tape before. It is not the most cooperative conveyance. It's, it's good to use, but if if in a struggle situation, it kind of twists, it kind of bends. You can't never get that shit around the right way. It don't stick like you want it to stick exactly right until you get it and you press it in. So it's a lot of finagling you typically have to do with some duct tape. You got to smack it and you know you get it tight with mm-hmm. duct tape. So any struggle would make duct taping an individual very difficult. It would. It would. And, and also... The, very uh, difficult the- because I don't think we're stating this enough. For a 13-year-old girl to do to a 60-year-old man who has no physical ailments that we know of otherwise healthy he wasn't in a wheelchair not on a walker he wasn't invalid he wasn't any of those things correct not at all regularly ambulatory mm-hmm. okay all right i just want to clear that up uh yeah. real quick for yeah anybody who wasn't, oh, who I wasn't know. that was the route y'all was finna go with this who, shit. Wasn't, paying, who wasn't paying attention oh no the, the, the route that i'm going is the fact that this this young lady was wrongly prosecuted. Her fucking not not only was she wrongly prosecuted, prosecuted her fucking her fucking lawyers were inept as shit. Horrible fucking lawyers. Trash. Me who has not gone to law school, who has taken three college law classes in two years of high school law. Saw plenty of times in this 45 minute episode where they only showed seven minutes of the actual trial where the defense should have objected to this shit. Like there are so many holes that could have been poked into the defense's well, to the into the prosecution's case. Like literally the person who was the, the grown man who she had never met before was found not guilty. However, the 13-year-old girl, guilty as fuck, was found guilty the gu- of killing someone who she has never met, who her grandmother has const- constantly purchased, const- was constantly in contact with, whose phone number was on was the last phone number on the victim's caller ID 15 minutes before he passed away. The criminal justice system has been characterized in 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 art as a lady with scales and a blindfold no. to, to signify that justice is blind and balanced. and balanced however i didn't know justice was dumb than the mother i didn't know justice was blind stupid and as dumb. shit stupid as shit and not only is the criminal system fucked up this goes to also the parenting system because this young this little girl was left to be raised by a grandmother who clearly did not give a fuck about her who clearly sold her up the fucking river who clearly cared more about saving her own ass than this young child and it just goes to show the cycle that now this this young girl who ended up um, trying to raise two daughters of her own who was taken away from those little girls and now they are growing up somewhere else. Hopefully they're being raised currently by somebody who actually gives a fuck about them because their mother didn't get a chance to do that. Their mother didn't give a chance to, to be raised by somebody who gave a fuck. And her mother was trying to break that cycle. Mm-hmm. And that family is torn apart. So now that is a one, two, third generation of fucked up in this. And when we talk about how um, how the, the, the cycle of 
struggle in the black neighborhoods are and how and how the justice system can literally destroy 50, 60, 70 years of black people but in one fell swoop by one false prosecution and that just goes to show how fucking bad we need criminal reform we need the whole police system overhaul we need and that in that whole one bad one bad cop it goes to show how much one bad seed can fuck up an entire generation. Well, it it, it go it speaks to the criminal justice system, and I don't know the exact location of this one, but Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee. It is indicative of I don't know if Chattanooga is a small town, but something tells me that Chattanooga is not a a a a, a, a plush urban oasis i don't know it it, it ain't it ain't ain't a city like knoxville or nashville but it's a fairly big city it's probably about i don't know i'm I'm bad to guess probably about 150,000. okay in some of these towns across america you will find that the justice system is just like seven motherfuckers it's a sheriff there's a couple deputies there's a lawyer there's a judge and then that's it that, that the town is 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 12 executives and they all know each other mm-hmm. and and if you grow up in a small town like that and somebody in your family you know runs afoul of a motherfucker and, and egregious somebody for what for whatever reason or you're and black they wanna, trying to raise a ring. And they want to have a and they want to have a grudge against you and want to salt the earth of your family. They can do that. And I don't know. Just knowing the history of the family, knowing the history of what's going on with them, I wouldn't be so I wouldn't be so so far removed from thinking that this might be a a a a, a a target mm-hmm. that 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 there may be someone there in a an authoritative position that has mm-hmm. an axe to grind or a grudge to hold with his family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they did the everything you did to me, me, whatever curse, whatever CD said to Mrs. Mister. They said to her family, "You do right by me. Everything you attempt, gonna crumble." They might have, they might have did that, and they might be enacting that. And to me, it it's it's hard to fathom that completely anonymous individuals can can have this type of delusion about each other. I find it ridiculous that a, a a a prosecutor that has no knowledge of this woman, no personal knowledge of this woman, or no personal animus towards this woman or woman that people that she knows, could say could fathom that come out their mouth to say that. Well, if you want to tell me that a thirteen year old unraveled several yards of duct tape and then rolled it back up. And then it subsequently was used at the crime scene and that she's innocent of this, then so be it. He said something to that effect. I don't know. Uh, whatever the fuck he said in his closing, it was enough to get them to convict her. I don't know if it was a jury trial or a bench trial. I don't know if the jury was of her peers or of the 17 hick motherfuckers they had to pull there, from. There was a, there was a jury. Hick-ass town. From their 150,000 person town. Hey, I don't know. I, I don't know, but my conspiratorial mind goes to these things. My gubernatorial. But, but it, it, it speaks to corruption. It speaks to the need for police reform. Um, speaking of that, I don't think they saying what y'all saying. They saying, but what, 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 is that, 
nonetheless. What, what, what was your take on it? I was going to move on, but what, you, she, she had some. Whether she did the murder or not, she was there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're alleging that she was there. So that's why she was convicted of felony murder and not murder. Yes. But, however, there is literally no evidence of her being anywhere in that anywhere in that house at oh, any no, time in her fucking life except for mm -hmm. that's the problem did, it, did anybody no representation. Did, she was unjustly convicted whether mm -hmm. she was there or not we all all are under the impression that she didn't do the shit standing there shouldn't have got a 13 year old 60 fucking years because we don't know what type of duress she was under and because she closed her fucking mouth and y'all don't have no fucking evidence to convict her of the crime is she closing her mouth or is she saying i ain't do that shit i wasn't even there she said she was she, she said she wasn't there they can't she can't there's no logical way that she could have put a got her thumbprint without being oh there. shit what Fam. Logical way Fam. she could have got her thumb. I'll, 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 I'll give you the logical way and, I'll, and, and let me break it down to you, my friend. Okay, go ahead. I have unrolled tape and rolled it back unrolled up. unrolled 13 yards of duct tape and got it back on the road, bro. I'm not. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. I don't know if it was 13 yards. I, was it 13 yards? You ain't rolled three feet was with it? duct tape and got it back on that motherfucker. I have though. Right. I have though. I have right. played with I've played with tape. Not duct tape. With, I, and not extensive. I've played with duct tape. I played with duct tape. I played with duct tape. It's, I played with duct tape. You can't keep roll. duct tape off itself. It goes on the roll on itself. So when you unroll it and then roll it back up, it does the exact it, it, it doesn't lose no, anything. No, you can't keep three feet of duct tape from touching itself, the floor, the table, something. You can, you can. Like you can, you can, you can, right, bro. you can, you can, right, you can, you can, you fucking can't. How you, how the fuck you can't do this and right then now. roll it back up? I'm not, I'm not. You mean to tell, so you mean to tell, so you mean to tell me, you mean to tell, you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that you can't do this with some duct tape and then roll it the fuck back up. So the duct tape can't drop, touch the floor, and then get rolled the fuck back up. They didn't say that this duct tape was pristine on the other side of it. They didn't say that this duct tape didn't have no fucking chunks from the garage and the other side of the fucking, on the other side of the tape. They didn't say none of that shit. All they said was that this girl had fingerprints on 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 some yards of duct tape. And I'm no, telling no, you, no, 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 no I'll put some shit back to where it needs to be so I, I'm not going to throw this shit away. It's all still right, all right, all right. Shh, no, Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, now, no. Her thumbprints weren't on 13 yards of duct tape. Her thumbprints were on one small piece of duct tape along, along with nine other sets of fingerprints. It wasn't on all 13. It, there, were, there, were, there, were, there were two partial thumbprints. feet into the roll. No, it it's wasn't one 16. fingerprint, sixteen feet into the roll. No, they, they don't. Learn that nigga hands and his feet. They found out that the part that her fingerprint was on was fifteen feet into the roll. So again, y'all not finna have me convict this girl because y'all talking crazy. She nigga, might you. have been there. She didn't hey. deserve sixty years. Hey. Uh, no, hey. no, no, hey. no. All right, hey. all right. So, god damn it. All right, so. No, her, 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 it wasn't um, that they found out her thumbprint was 16 yards and 16 feet That's into exactly nigga, sh nigga, god damn. No, it was on the small piece that was around his face. It was on, nigga, it was, it was, that, that small piece was 15 feet into it. Yes. It wasn't it, it wasn't the little small piece that was just around his face. Yes, this little piece, it came from 15 feet inside of the roll. And how in the fuck do you know that? How in the fuck are they able to know exactly where this piece that was cut off cuz they just originated it from? And put it back together. That's not how tape works, That's nigga. Exactly how Never mind. 
nigga, that is not. If this piece is cut hey, off, look, hey, look, if I if I if if I touch the first foot of the rope of the roll, and we put that over his mouth, and then we take a we take some more rolls and put that under his on his legs, and then they unroll it all. They can tell exactly where the fuck that. Each piece they match it up in and in. in. They, they can match it up in and in. I mean, it's cool. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying they can't. I don't know. I've already. I, I look. I've already lawyered the reason why a fingerprint could be all the way at the other end of the fucking tape. I don't care. I've unraveled duct tape. You can stick duct tape sticky side to sticky side and then pull it apart and still use that shit. Especially considering the fact yes. that her grandfather, yes. Yes. Nigga, nigga, yes. especially considering the fact that her grandfather testified that he literally did that often. He unraveled the duct tape, threw it at her, and had her play, had her play with the shit, and rolled the shit back up. Now I don't know about how I don't know about playing with the shit. Like, like he would, you can let, he it, would, you he can let it, you can let it, you can let, it, you can let it stick and then pull it apart and then roll it. But if we just going wee wee. I don't know if you're gonna be able to use so, that. So you can't, anymore. you can't, you can't take a piece of duct tape, um, and give it to somebody, and then take it back from them and still use that duct tape. Fam, fam, you can, yes, but they're not gonna play with it. I'm gonna tell you right now, this shit happened, and uh, this, it was this is a working grandfather, fam. He saw this little girl playing with his shit, and he came in there, and he immediately started going off. No. He went the fuck off. He, he saw. He, yes, he did. He saw her playing with this shit. He went the fuck. Hey, look, hey, look. I don't give a fuck what he told the cops to clean the shit up. Let me tell you what the fuck really happened. I've Have been there. Changed. I know what the fuck. Hey, hey look. This is my for reading. Terry McMillan. Hey, 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 go, go ahead, sis. <laughs> hey, uh, but yeah, I've been there. I've seen kids play with shit. And, hey, put that shit down. And then I'm a, I'm a, we ain't finna wait. I ain't finna lose all this toilet paper and roll this shit back on the road. Because you didn't you didn't stretch it out and ran all ran ran through the ran to the kitchen with this motherfucker. Didn't didn't break off. It didn't break off. But I but am I, am I finna throw all this tissue away? I'm finna go to the roll and I'm finna bag that shit back up on it. But we not finna play with this shit though. I can see that motherfucker. I can see a, 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 a situation where that girl was in her, her grandfather's work shit. Playing with his work shit, fucking with some shit, unrolling tape, wrapping it around the pole, wrap it, stretching it out, trying to see how far she can get to the, see if she can get from the garage to the curb. I'm going to put that shit here on the wall and then stretch it on out. That's how you got your 15 feet. She touched it there. Grandfather saw, what the hell is wrong with you? Girl, get, get your ass back in the house. I can't believe this girl out here messing with my shit. Pay good money for this damn duct tape. It was $3.47. And roll that motherfucker right the fuck back on up. I and put it right back on the bench. And then went, did some work at that man's house and left his duct tape. Because he was trying to fix some shit with some duct tape, like a lot of motherfuckers do. <laughs> and there on, are on, nine on. other fucking lawyering. sets of fingerprints on this duct lawyering. tape. I'm just lawyering. He did work at the house. Handyman oh style work. He <laughs> left. He <laughs> left. Nigga, yo, dumb he left. He left his tape. He yeah, left his tape. This man. This man. This 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 drug dealer. This drug dealer just so happens to get happened upon. Maybe in the midst of a drug deal going wrong. I don't know. They look for some shit to tie him up with quickly. They see that roll of duct tape that's over there by the cabinet. That old man Ferguson was just. Fixing on the other day. Grab this shit, tie this motherfucker up, put it on his mouth. He suffocates himself to death. And uh, 10 years later, you find this little girl fingerprints older than you want to say that the 13 year old was intricate in the gag, the, the, the bounding and gagging of this grown ass man. We could all get wild. With Nine other sets of fingerprints on this tape. That's why I said he got he it was a drug deal gone wrong. And they found it the duct tape. It wasn't a drug deal gone wrong. It was a robbery gone right. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, let's be was, honest yeah. about this shit. But she oh God, wasn't the robber. That part. <laughs> it that was part. a robbery gone right. You're However, not, she wasn't the robber. 
You're not convincing me that the 13 year old girl did that shit. And the fact that a prosecutor can get that shit off in open court is indicative of the needs of the reform that the justice system requires. Like, how in the fuck can you think beyond a reasonable doubt that she had parts of this? This 13-year-old managed to walk this two-and-a-half fucking mile trip and complete all of this in 15 minutes. Did they get back to school? No, I didn't go, go back home. Oh, went home. Because they, they said that uh, the time frame was between um, two and four. She got out of school. She got off the school bus no later than 2.45. So around 2.45. So, in an hour and 20 minutes, she walked two and a half hours. Miles. Two and a half miles. To this, to, to, to this place where she, well, there is literally no evidence that she ever met this person before. At best, you want me to believe the 13-year-old got the drop, subdued, and subsequently murdered a 60-year-old. Physically, no gun, no knife, nothing involved. No blunt force trauma to the head. It wasn't like he was knocked out. None of that. And and and, and literally touched and and literally and literally touched nothing else in the fucking house besides this goddamn tape. Fam, it's, it's nutty. It's nutty. We get up. Shooting Meg the Stallion, and this bitch wasn't charged with murdering that nigga. So y'all have at it. <laughs> I don't know what you just said. Tory Lanez wasn't charged with shooting Meg the Stallion, and this bitch wasn't charged with murdering that nigga. So y'all can have at it. Both of those things happened, though. No, no not she was one charged with. Happened. She was charged with felony murder, which is <laughs> with. Not which even is, one of those things happened. Tory Lanez was charged is, with which is, shooting Meg the Stallion. Which is the murder, um, which is um, the commit. Well, basically, there was a felony that happened and someone died during that felony. Now, how they are saying that she is the one who taped his mouth up because and, and she was there. However, she touched literally nothing else besides this one piece of tape. Like literally nothing else in the house was touched by her except for this one piece of tape now there's no criminal there's there's nobody that's taking part in any crime that is just walking around with their hands in their pocket the entire time or walking around with gloves on the entire time except to rip this one piece of tape and then put the gloves back on and not touching anything else None of that makes any fucking sense. And then, yes, this young lady was falsely convicted, was unright, unjustly convicted, and we need to free Angel Bumpers as loud as we were yelling to free Centoya Brown. We need to be well, screaming ten times as loud to free well, Angel Bumpers because hey, hey, Angel Bumpers did not do this. Hey, um, so. She's out of jail. No, she, right? she has a new trial. She's out uh, of jail. Did, did, she, did, did she make bond? She's out of jail. What happened was a philanthropic businessman from the area found out about her case and was at her hearing and volunteered to put up her bond. Salute to, to, After, to, to, to that. After it was reduced, right to him, right? I don't know his name, I can't remember. But after it was reduced from like 300 grand to like 100 grand, he said, All right, I got you. I got this. I got you. So they put him through the, through the rigmarole of who you killed to get this? Mm-hmm. Sell the drugs? You stole it, didn't you? No, nah? okay, all right. I guess you, I guess you check out, nigga. Yes, we gotta let her go. <laughs> we got to take we got to take your money to let her go. We going to put a man we going to put a mind on her though. We going to put an ankle mind on her. Uh, count, it again. Go, count it again. <laughs> count it again. Count it 4 5 times. Is that a we got the marker? Get the marker. Give me 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 the marker. Mm-hmm. 
And did him like Sugar Ray? Right. <laughs> Tell a nigga how much he costs and he'll run away. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'll be 25000 <laughs> Okay. Yeah.